great to be joined for a few moments remotely by the COO of Hilton Head Regional Healthcare, Joel Taylor. Your hospitals, Mr. Taylor, have been at the forefront of the COVID-19 testing and vaccinations in the Low Country over the past many months. You guys were among the leaders, but you're almost done testing now and you're almost done vaccinating. Why have you now decided to cut back? Well, I appreciate the, uh, the, the comments. We really have been at the forefront uh, for now going on a year. Uh, and if you look at testing, we've administered over 40,000 tests and vaccines, over 30,000 vaccines. Uh, we, we really all along have viewed our role in this is as, as the bridge uh-huh. to, uh, to a larger availability other in, uh, in the community. And so to your question on why are we kind of stepping back, it's really because the demand has started to slow uh, and thankful to the community, uh, you know, that continues to to socially distance, to wear a mask. Uh, we're in a really good we're in a really good position right now, um, and the demand for testing, the demand for vaccines has diminished, and so we are going to take a step back. There are other community providers in the area. That that's a key element right there, isn't it? There there are now other places you can go. <laughs> exactly. Um, the state has uh, testing sites available. Other. Pharmacies, physician offices all now have testing and vaccines available. Okay. Um, you are still, I mean, can folks still call for an appointment and still go through the process? You're just not uh, doing doing the big uh, events like you had been doing or, or where, where are you in the process? So on the, on the vaccines, we yeah. do continue to operate our vaccine clinic at yeah. the Buckwalter Rec Center um, okay. for the next several weeks. We will do... Uh, Right, first doses, yeah, first doses through like the end of next week, and then uh, the second doses through obviously the end of May because you need to. <laughs> exactly, yeah. that's that's it. And after after that time is done, uh, we will at least in the near term not be offering the vaccines okay. to the public. Okay, okay. Um, can people still uh, people? The testing has been over now for about a week, hasn't it? Uh, it actually goes through this week, but it's only okay. on Mondays and Thursdays now. Okay. So uh, in the in the mornings of Mondays and Thursdays, but it is available uh, really throughout the community. You guys rolled through this, got into it, got involved, and did it, and didn't uh, bark and 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 cry a lot about this is going to cost us a whole lot of money at the time. Has it? Uh, are you guys going to come out of this? all right financially. You're the chief operating officer. I guess you're the guy to ask. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate the question. We are going to come out. We are uh, very fortunate that we've partnered with the state on it. And so right. we've at least been able to 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 minimize the financial risks associated. Oh, good. So you are, I mean, you guys are seeing some of the flow back from the, the federal uh, uh, CARES Act info and uh, all of the different stuff that's coming back toward Correct. you. Correct. Yes, sir. Absolutely. What has what do you guys need to get back into doing? Surgeries, uh, regular health care. What what's been really suffering because you put so much uh, into this? Well, I think that's a great question, and it's we're really in this period of time where uh, we are transitioning out of the focus on COVID uh, and returning to what we are what we are here for to provide uh, acute care to the to the community. So we though we slowed surgeries at times, we never completely close that. Um, we do expect those elective surgeries, um, kind of the non-emergent surgeries to continue to ramp up as people get more comfortable being out and about and get more comfortable uh, returning to the hospitals. All right. So go back to your hospital for what you used to go to your hospital for, I guess is the, the word we come out of all this. You know, we have taken, we've definitely taken steps to make sure people are comfortable. Um, and, and even this week, we're relaxing our ER uh, visitation okay. policy that's been in place because uh, people are more comfortable. We're seeing an increase in emergency room visits. We want uh, people's loved ones to be able to uh, join them in the ER. In the meantime, we need to keep wearing our masks and socially distance, right? Yes, please. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Joel Taylor, the COO of Hilton Head Regional Healthcare, for your time. Thank you.